Hey, what's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I replant a pomegranate tree. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, I dug a hole. I dug this out where I first planted it. So, obviously, I know this could survive in my zone. And I think I'm gonna plant this slightly above grade. So. Let me show you. I got some soil over here that I mix with biochar and compost. I'll link the video that I made of how I made this soil. Oops. But this was five gallons of my native soil from that one little hole. I think it's I aerated it so much. That's why the hole looks so small. And it looks like it has so much uh, soil. But yeah. The soil has biochar, compost. And if you want to see how I made this soil... Again, I'll link it in the description. And I'm doing this today just because it's going to be raining tomorrow, basically this entire weekend. So I want to get this done before it gets too crazy out here. It's going to be windy, raining. All sorts of stuff. And I think right now is a good time to replant trees. Just because of the wind. Of the rain. It won't, it won't be too hard on your trees. I think I have way more soil than I need now. Just want to have it mound up a little bit. And the reason why I have the tree slightly higher than the ground is because when uh, you water it and uh, all the rains and stuff, it will compress. So it might be slightly below grade afterwards anyway. I'm going to do a little bit of a swale. Get this working red, add the rest of the soil just to make this oil. When I was digging this hole, I was finding you know, tons of plastic, so that's a little annoying.
Okay, in here I have two tablespoons of bush emulsion and two gallons of water, so one tablespoon per gallon. That's what I'm doing. You don't have to do that because it says four tablespoons per gallon, but I just want to do two less is more. I like always add more if I really need to. Plus, it's going to be raining soon, so it doesn't matter if I add too little, too little nitrogen right now. And uh, I think right now, I'm going to grab some mulch, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, as you can see, I made two kind of huge holes. And uh... I guess you could call this stacking function, functions. So I'm planning to plant some potatoes in there. Uh, you can see these potatoes went to seed. And yeah, why not have pomegranates and seed potatoes, right? Ugh. Okay, now I want to keep this pomegranate straight, so I got two stakes here, and uh, a blue ribbon. These stakes, by the way, I got from the dollar store, so it cost me about two bucks. You can get these at any hardware store. Oops. Don't want it too tight. I think I might need to move that. And I'm doing this so when it when it's windy, it won't just blow over. I think this might be fine for right now. Okay. So right now, so now I'm gonna put on the mulch. And then call it a day.
I'm going to bring this closer. Maybe we should get a middle first, huh? Yeah. Boom. I have tons of mulch for right now, so I can always add more if I need to. Right now I'm just trying to fill it in. All right, guys, I'll be back with you in a second after I'm done this up. All right, guys, here's how the tree looks after it's been planted over here. Um, here's all the mulch that I put. And uh, our, you saw what the soil is over here that I put potatoes. Then uh, I have sorghum, sardine grass seeds out here. Hopefully, with all the rain we'll be getting, it'll be germinating soon. I also put a sunflower in this corner and that corner and hopefully those will come up also but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video please a like comment subscribe thank you for watching see you next video peace